Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Forrest with Rocky Mountain School of Photography and today we are going to do a product review on a little accessory for those of you who might own a Fornax mount. Now, let's step back a couple steps. First off, I should say this. If you are into astrophotography, you'll know that one of the most important and uh, necessary upgrades when you get started in this hobby is buying yourself some sort of tracker or mount system. Now, these range in price from $200 to thousands of dollars. My personal favorite is the Fornax Light Track 2. It's about a thousand dollar mount, it's very portable, very, very high quality, and has excellent tracking accuracy. If you want a full review on the Fornax Light Track 2, click up there in the corner, and I have linked one there as well as down in the description. The problem with the Fornax though is, for those of you who've watched my review, it's a little bit cumbersome with larger telescopes the way that it works. The Fornax relies on using a ball head, a photography ball head, to essentially point and lock the camera down wherever you want the camera to point in the sky, the camera and the telescope. And that produces some interesting problems because it's not a super rock steady locked in way to do something. And as you start to get a bigger and bigger telescope, you start to put more weight on the ball head and things just aren't clean. So enter the Fornax counterweight kit. Um, I think they call this the, hold on one second here, let me consult my notes. Um, this is called the FMC 100 Counterbalance Kit. And what it is, very, very simple. You can see it's a it's basically a long tube of metal. I think it's steel, machine steel, really nice high quality steel. And we've got a weight on one end. And on the other end, we have a dovetail saddle plate, which is basically where we would mount our telescope. And then in the middle, we've got a rotation mechanism. And the rotation mechanism allows this to rotate both rotationally this direction, as well as rotationally this direction. Those of you who are more familiar with larger mounts, this would be your right ascension and declination axis on a big go-to mount. So what you do in order to operate this is very simple. You screw this end onto the Fornax. So I've got my Fornax right here. That's where I would normally mount my plate, my uh, photography ball head or videography ball head. And I wanna screw this onto that. And what this does is this basically puts your telescope on one side of the mount and this weight on the other. And we can slide the weight back and forth and balance everything out. Now, those of you who have astro experience, I don't have to tell you how nice it is having a counterbalanced system when you're imaging. Relieves all kinds of pressure off the mount, which allows the mount to track more accurately. It allows you to very easily swing to different parts of the sky really having a counterweight system is important. This is one reason that I really highly recommend the iOptron Sky Guider over the iOptron Sky Tracker. By opting for the guider, opting, optron, <laughs> by opting for the guider, you're getting a counterweight system in addition to a really good tracking platform. So, great accessory. Now, what do I like and what do I don't like and is this something that you should add on to your Fornax? Well, Let's answer the first question first. Uh, I do think that you should add this to your Fornax kit. I think it makes the Fornax a much more capable mount if a few conditions are met. The first condition is if you're using a telescope. I don't think that it, it, this is an important upgrade if you're only using a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. In fact, I think it's just a lot of extra weight that you don't need. But as you start to push that millimeters a little bit longer, maybe to 250, 300, specifically in the telescope world, it can be a nice thing. Another reason it's really only for telescopes, and this would be my first point of improvement in this system, the dovetail that comes on this mount is not Arca Swiss, it's Vic Vixen or V style. Um, those of you who know, there's essentially V style and D style dovetails, Vixen and Lost Mandy. I don't know why Lost Mandy is, is D, but there's this is a Vixen style dovetail, which is the smaller of the dovetails. This will not fit Arca Swiss. So if I take Arca Swiss anything and I try to slide it in here, this clamp is too big to work with Arca Swiss, which is a bummer because a lot of us who use photo lenses for our Astro, this is essentially not compatible with our system. So one thing I would really recommend, I think that would be a great improvement in this system, is offering different upper, different clamps on the end, one clamp for Arca Swiss, one clamp for Vixen, maybe even a clamp for D-Style, and maybe even make a flipping system where we can flip it over. Um, or Lost Mandy lately, a lot of brands lately have done dual style dovetails where there's actually multiple cutouts and one plate can take many different sizes of dovetail. So anyway, 
if your telescope does not, or mount does not have a Vixen style dovetail plate, that is something to consider. Let me show you that real quick here as an example. So on this little telescope, this has a reversible dovetail plate. On one side, we have Arca Swiss, and on the other side, we have Vixen or V style. I've got this flipped right now so that the Arca Swiss side is down because I was last using this telescope with my photo head. But the nice thing is about a telescope like this, I can actually flip this dovetail over and use the Vixen side or V side for this counterweight system. Not all plates do this though, so it's not something that all telescopes will do. Anyway, long story short, I wish they offered different clamps. Those of you who do have a Vixen style dovetail on your telescope, you should be fine. Those of you who don't, you could buy one for your scope if you really wanted to use this accessory. All right, so back to the discussion of should you buy this and should you use this? So I think definitely having a longer telescope makes this way more of an advantage in your imaging. So definitely as you get a bigger scope, I think this is something more to consider. One other thing though that I wanna talk a little bit about having to do with larger scopes and clearances is simply the distance between this counterweight shaft and the whole system and the Fornax mount itself, because there are some pretty serious clearance issues. This is how this mount or its add-on ships from Fornax. And while it's so beautifully made and really well done, this little attachment point here is expected to screw directly onto the Fornax. And you can see if you do that, they actually, depending on how your mount is weighted, this weight can actually come into contact with the mount itself. Everything's too close together. So another little room for improvement here that I think would make this a much better system is to include some sort of spacer block. You guys can see this is one from, let me cover up my face so it focuses. This is one from Kirk Enterprise. And this is literally just a spacer that's got a 3 8 screw thread on the bottom and a screw 3 8 pin on the top. And what I can do is take my Fornax, I can screw this onto the end of it, and then I can attach the counterweight shaft to that. And giving that extra space all of a sudden allows me to flip and rotate my telescope and the counterweight, because the counterweight moves with the scope, any old direction I want to. And that's a huge advantage. And you all, this is about 50 bucks, so a pretty nice add-on. Other than that, I think this thing is darn near perfect. It's a great add-on, a great thing to go with. It's built very well, it's incredibly smooth. Like when you loosen these little clutch knobs and you spin this thing around, like you can see, let me loosen it a little bit. You can see how buttery smooth that is. It moves very smoothly. There's nice um, little plastic, uh, whatever you wanna call those spacers or washers in there that help with the to reduce the friction. Um, the counterweight itself, loosens very nicely and slides forward and back very smooth. Overall, like comparing this to an iOptron product, it's night and day different. It has very smooth functions really in all directions. So that's kind of where I would leave it. I think if you are willing to change out the plate on your telescope or camera to a V style dovetail, which can be had for about 50 bucks, and you are willing to um, buy yourself a two and a half inch spacer, and I've linked both of those things down in the description so you all can check them out. If you're willing to buy yourself a spacer, I think it turns what is a good accessory into a fantastic accessory. But again, if you have a light camera, light telescope, it's definitely not something you need to consider, but this will increase your tracking performance, increase your ease of using it out there in the field, um, and just overall, it's a better experience when you can use this nice counterweight system. So again, kind of a quick review. I more just wanted to, you call it a product showcase, kind of show you all what this is, show you what it does, and give you all some of my impressions and feelings and room for improvement. Luckily, the only two things that I have given room for improvement on this are easily fixable by purchasing a little bit of an add-on, but it's something you should definitely budget into the price. If you all like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below. Lastly, hit subscribe up there or down there, whatever direction I'm pointing, uh, to stay up to date with future videos. We have videos every single week on photography, astrophotography, video, Photoshop, Lightroom, whatever kind of things you might wanna be learning chances are we have a video on it. So definitely hit subscribe if you're interested, hit the bell icon to stay up to date with future videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Happy shooting and clear skies, all of you astrophotographers out there. Um, if you do own a Fornax, congratulations. It's a fantastic mount. I, I just adore this thing. And this, this little accessory makes it even better. Great seeing you all. Catch you in the next one. Thanks.